was the last time any of you saw this? Do some of you not even know what this is? This is called a Game Genie. A Game Genie is something that you would use for your NES and you would put your games in, you plug the Game Genie in, and it would allow you to use codes. Interesting fact, uh, Nintendo tried to sue Game Genie. I don't know exactly what the company was called at the time. I can't really see here. It kind of looks like Globe. You know, you know, like, oh no, right here, Galoob. It says Galoob. It says Lewis Galoob Toys Inc. right there. And yeah, Nintendo tried to sue them, but they actually lost the lawsuit because tampering with the game's code isn't really affecting their intellectual property or something. I, I don't know exactly what it is. So let's try and find as many weird game-breaking Game Genie codes. I have a page right here with a shit ton of codes. Let's try and add some together. Let's try and break the game. Let's see all the weird stuff we can do. Let's go ahead and insert this. Well, actually, this is the game that I play on, so I really don't want to insert this into my Game Genie. My Game Genie is probably... What the hell? Let's dirty up a different copy. Gives you a little crunch. Now you got the Game Genie. Oh, look at that. First try. Does anyone know why you get to put in three codes? Because the Genie grants you three wishes. I actually didn't know that growing up. I had no idea. I never even thought about that. All right. This one's called Skywalk. S X E Z S K O Z. Well. <laughs> yeah, let's go! Hold on, what happens if I build P-Speed? <laughs> yeah! Easy! Oh my god, the float down? Okay, let's fix our car- uh, let's fix our cartridge and, and get back to this. Hold on. Okay, let's try a mega jump. E A K Z Y B E K. All right, let's try Mega Jump. Here we go. Weep! I wasn't expecting to like... <laughs> Look, I can't even... Okay, hold on. See you later! <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. All right, can I make it over the pipe? Oh, you can make it right to the pipe. That's epic, boom. A frame perfect jump is this. Can't jump any lower than that, so... Wait, what? When you hold jump off an enemy, it's not high? Really? Okay, here we go. We're gonna get P-Speed here. Blast ass, let's go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh! Dude, the acceleration is ridiculous in this. Okay, apparently this code is enemies and stuff from blocks become one-ups. <laughs> so you're just constantly collecting one-ups. How fast do you think I can get uh, 99? Okay, our mission here is to get 99 lives as fast as we can. Okay. We got 20 in the first level. That's easy. There is a trick in the level two, but we're not going to use the trick. We're just going to stomp on all the enemies as we can, like normal. We got to double down on this guy. Oh, I can't get him. Wait, now I can. Hold on. Oh, you son of a bitch. Come back! Yeah! This is so much fun. Everything just gives you a one-up. I've, I've not collected... That sounded weird, didn't it? I've not collected... I feel like that sounded weird. Wait, dude, wait. Oh, dude, I'm gonna get so many one-ups here. Right here, right? What? Oh. Oh, no, it just said stuff from blocks. Okay, that makes sense. <gasps> Don't die on me. Wait, what? Where'd the block go? Oh, wow, okay, I, I can actually get a lot. Well, that block was broken. Can I catch up to it? Oh, I just missed it. What? That was so close. Okay, that one-up sound is getting annoying. <laughs> I got 100 lives, I swear. You just didn't see it. This one is called, You Better Be a Pro. I think I'm a pro at this game. I hope I can do it. 
What is going on? Oh my god. I mean, I'm a pro, yes. This is messed up. What? It's tricking. Oh, that was the that was the one I blocked. No. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, this for the block. Purple blocks or the pink block here. Yeah, I made it. I made it. I, that's the pipe right there. I'm a pro. What is this garble of mess? We're gonna have to do this in a separate video and beat it. And there it goes. Okay, we'll, we'll at least beat this level. I feel like the second half of the level is just dead. It's a good thing I'm a pro or else I wouldn't be able to... Look at this garble. This is actually amazing. This is amazing. Uh, apparently this one's bad guys appear and disappear. So let's... Oh. Is he gonna come back? Is he still there? Wait, is he gone? It says bad guys appear and disappear. Well, I didn't see any appear or reappear. Wait. I mean, do they come back? They're not reappearing. Oh, God. Well, he didn't disappear. Whoa. What? Like, do they count as being... Whoa, what? No, they're gone, man. They're gone. I can't wait to combine some codes. Let's try it. Let's try another one. Okay, this one is two codes. The first one is on map screen. Mario is in weird place. Press B for battle mode. The other one is holes in the ground. Okay. Oh, I can already see it's busted. Yo, get wrecked, Luigi. How sad is my life right now? I don't have a two-player. Move, Luigi. All right, I'm trying to set him up. Tricked him. Victorious. Okay, the holes in the ground one didn't work, so I'm going to have to re-put in the code right now. So, oh, there's a hole. This mode is kind of, like, difficult, too. Just ran... Wait, is there one hole in the ground? Is that it? Oh, no! Nope. <laughs> See you later, boys! Whoa! That actually almost got me. What if there's a hole in the ground right at the end of the level there? Am I screwed? Whoa! Hole in the ground right away. There's two holes in the ground. Whoop, there's another hole in the ground. Are the holes in the ground predictable, though? No. I think they're random. Oh, a hole right there would be awesome. No holes in the fortress? No fortress holes? Here, I got a hole right here. Oh, I didn't get it. This code sucks. Okay, for this one, we are gonna start in World 4, and the map graphics are weird, and the Hammer Brothers apparently are weird in the overworld. So let's see. Um. I can't even go to the menu. All right, let's try Let's try and do this without going to the menu. Hey, it didn't crash. Wait, what? Wait, do the blocks just appear in my hands randomly? No, it's right here. Wait, what if... What if I go in when he's on my sprite like that? Aw. Uh, Okay, I randomly throw blocks all over the place. Look at Mario, he's squished. He's squished into one life. Oh my god, what? No! What? How did that even happen? <laughs> what is the Hammer Brother doing? Oh, come on, I thought I grabbed it. Will I ever be able to fight the Hammer Brother? That's the question. Uh, the music is very weird as well. Can I pull some from the cloud? Oh, that would have been awesome. Wait, did I just pull it from the background? Whoa! I feel like it does it automatic. Like, I'm not doing it. Oh yeah, what? So I just randomly grab blocks? Yeah, dude, it just, wherever I am, it just happens. Nice. I lagged out the enemies, so I didn't have to fight them. Oh, that trap right there at the bottom. Come here. 
Oh, poor Mario. But I already have ice blocks here. I can't grab them, though. I can't bring them through. Whoa! It's so laggy right now. It's because I'm holding, like, six blocks, right? Yeah, there's just so many. I'm surprised it doesn't crash. I was holding so many, I got a one-up there. Let's see if my, what the mushroom house has. <laughs> I didn't get an item! It lied to me! Okay, apparently, this is cool, cool colors and graphics. We got World 7. We got, like, the midnight, midnight world. Okay. Well, what? Go, Mario! Send help! Okay, I'm here, but I don't want to be here. Because I'm trapped forever. Come on, Mario. Wait. Wait, can I walk? Go in. Help! That turtle's like, what the hell is this? Okay, I can't even use this code because I can't control Mario. I mean, it is kind of cool graphics, I guess, but let's try something else. I think this is weird graphics number two. These are weird, all right. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually a pretty cool looking World 6. You have to admit, this is pretty cool. So you're saying I can't go under here. That's unfortunate. All right, let's see if the levels have... Yep. It's growing! Run! The level, it's growing on its own. Wait, did it just... Did it just consume? Oh, bitch. Let's go back to World 6. Okay, this is a weird one that I wanted to show you all. It's called Weird Score. And when I first build P-Speed, my score is gonna go nuts. Or wait, do I have to get something first? There we go. Okay, so my score is weird right now. And it's so big that what's gonna happen is that if you remember every 80,000 points you generate, you get a spade card game, right? So when I exit this level, my score is going to be so high, it's going to spawn like infinite spade card games. And I actually used to use this code to learn how to remember all of the spade card games. So I don't know how many spade card games I just spawned. But if I go in here and I just keep playing them and exiting them, they're just going to keep spawning. They're just going to keep spawning. So if you want to play the spade card game a lot, use this game genie code. This one's called Weird Score. And just keeps popping them up. Yeah, try it. This one is called Messed Up the Game, but it's fun to watch. Okay, let's see. Well, I can't say that that was very fun to watch. Nothing else. Apparently this one is start game as messed up Mario and I have jet speed. Oh, look at Mario. Looks very messed up. Well, not anymore. Wait, am I big Mario all the time? Whoa. Wait, am I not? Am I not messed up anymore? What's funny is that if I stop, if I stop, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, I'm running so fast, I can't build P-Speed though, right? Oh, there we go, I got it. Is Mario only messed up until I take damage once? Am I not messed up anymore? But I wanna be messed up! I'm only messed up once? How fast do you, do you guys think I can beat this game this way? What do you guys think the speedrun could be? Okay, we have one more to try here and it's make enemies hover above ground inside a messed up square. And it's all eyes. Okay. I mean, can I, can I hit them? I'm pretty sure I jumped on him. Let's try and jump on the first Goomba. 
<laughs> yeah, get wrecked, Goomba. Okay, well, some of these codes were really silly, and I think you can get some... Whoa, these ones are trippy. What the? There's so many good. Okay, are they gonna come back up? Wait, why can't I... Oh, I can stomp that one. Oh, he died. Oh, I died. Okay, I'm gonna leave you with something that you guys probably don't know about. There are three Game Genie codes that I used to use to practice when I didn't have an EverDrive. I used to practice with a Game Genie. So if you guys don't have that, I recommend get a Game Genie and there's three codes that I'm gonna show you right now that are perfect. I have these memorized, yes. These three codes, okay? They're gonna give you infinite lives. They're gonna allow you to select which world you want right here. I can select which world I want. They're gonna stack your inventory full of all the items that you need, and they don't go away. It's gonna allow you to enter levels and exit levels and play them as much as you want. So this is the ultimate three debug codes for you guys to use. You can do levels over and over and over again. Infinite clouds, go pick whatever level you want practice and play. Everdrives are expensive, so these three Game Genie codes will save your life. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed some weird Game Genie codes. Mario 3 doesn't have anything like amazing crazy, but some of those weird graphics and weird things, I thought it was pretty exciting. So take it easy, everyone. I hope you enjoy your day. Woo.